Hello guys, magandang araw sa inyong lahat. Ngayon naman, ituturo ko sa inyo ang application na Bandicam. Okay, so una, what is Bandicam? Sabi dyan, Bandicam is a screen capture and screen recording utility originally developed by Bandicam and later by Bandicam Company that can take screenshots or record screen changes. Also, Bandicam will help you carry out a screen capture with high compression ratio while keeping the video quality closer to the original work and provides performance far superior to other screen capture software that provide similar functions. So, Bandicam consists of three modes. So, what are they? Number one, screen recording. So, Bandicam can record everything on your computer screen and save it as screencasts, video files like MP4, EVI, or image files. The next one is the game recording. So Bandicam makes makes it possible to record various 2D, 3D games with 4K USD video and capture up to 480 FPS video. And lastly, the device recording. So, Bandicam allows you to record external video devices such as a webcam, Xbox, PlayStation, smartphone, IPTV, and etc. So, how to download the application? So, number one, open any browser. So, any browser can be utilized or used. So, type google.com in the URL and type Bandicam in the search button. So, for example, like that image and the second one. Okay. So, number three, click download and click the download button. And download the application and download button. Okay. So, wait the downloading procedures until it finishes. And just right here. So, wait. For the procedures installation procedures complete so the next one how to install the application so after we download the application we need to install it okay so number one right click the application and select run as administrator so right here so the application must right click and click the run as administrator yeah. Number two, click OK for language and click next to install. For the language and for the Bandicam setup, just click next. Okay, so click I agree for the license agreement and click next for choose components. So just like here, license agreement, just click I agree. For the choose components, just click next. Ito yan, I agree. And next. Number four, click install for the location and wait until successfully installed. So for the location, you can also customize the location. It's either uh, whether um, wherever um, location of your application. It's either in Drive C, Drive D, or any uh, location of your application you can do. And click install okay so the next one is installing and wait for the installation complete after we install the application the bandicam ito yung po yung dashboard ng bandicam so let us um, discuss or I will um, demonstrate how to use the application bandicam so Personally, ang Bandicam, ito mismo yung dashboard na yan. So, ngayon, nakikita nyo is meron dyan segundo na tumatakbo kasi I am using my application Bandicam for my recording. So, ginagamit ko siya na um, ginagamit ko siya um, para mailagay ko sa channel ko sa YouTube. So, depende din sa mga purpose ko kasi say for example, marami yung, yung mga tutorial ko and pwede rin siya gawin na sa lesson. So you can use some teachers, you can use it by 
and distance learning because this screen uh, screen recording uh, can utilize as face to face or, or either distance learning so for example um, the save video pag nakapag save tayo ng video na po ito so pwede po siya na ma-apply sa cellphone laptop computer projector or kahit sa TV or pwede naman siya ma-save sa Google Drive para dun yung mga compilation po ninyo ng video for example lahat nyo na is mga tutorial mga uh, discussion so especially sa mga subjects na lahat may mga practical or practicum so pwede kayo mag-demonstrate using this application para ma-plug and play na lang po ng mga bata so depende sa purpose pwede rin uh, sudyante mag-conduct ng recording ito yung ginagamit so ito yung din ang mode of um, ano ko uh, mode of screen recording na ginagamit sa YouTube ko and pati sa mga sudyante na ginagamit ko okay so let us start for this tutorial or demonstration how to use or configure the bandicam application so as you can see meron ditong button ito yung modes yung uh, screen recording game recording and video recording so I, we will focus only for the uh, screen recording okay so sa screen, reco screen recording meron dyan mga tabs home, general, video, image and about so I will discuss it one by one so for example itong home Ayan. May kita dyan yung location ng output po ninyo. So, for example, this bandicam, this uh, screen video recording will um, ay pupunta dun sa drive D na bandicam. So, let us check kung nandun na siya. Okay. So, for example, itong bandicam. Ayan. So, check natin. Drive D and bandicam. So, as you can see, bandicam. Ito yan. Ito yung uh, location and bandicam. Then drive D. Drive D. Tapos bandicam. So, check na. Tama. Pwede din siya ma-customize. Kung saan yung gusto. Location ng output ninyo. Kasi, uh, para makita nyo kung saan dito diretso yung output ninyo. Na, na magsisave. So, pwede yung ma-customize. So, mamaya sabihin ko kung paan. Sunod is general. Dito naman sa general, ito na yun. How to customize yung kung saan yung output mo punta. So, click lang itong 3 dots na yan. Ito. Ayan. 3 dots. Oh, so, pwede siyang ma-customize kung saan yung location na gusto niya. Kasi, for example, ayan yung sa, gusto sa desktop. Tapos, click kayo ng folder. New. Tapos, uh, click new. Tapos, folder. Folder. Tapos, oh, ayan yung new folder sa gilid. Dito po. And, maglagay tayo ng folder na, for example, tutorial. Tutorial. Okay. So, pag pinili natin siya, yung folder ng tutorial, and ito na yun mismo. Bali, lahat po ng output nyo is dyan mga kasi. Dyan. Okay. So, pag na natin i-select folder, kasi mabago ang settings na bandicam application ko. Pero, kung gusto nyo ma-select, yun na po yan. Just continue na lang po. So, nod, wala na pong gagalaw yung sa mga checkbox check na yan. Wala na po. So, nod, sa video. Tama. Lahat naman sinasabi ko is hanggat maaari yun lang po ang i-click po ninyo for um, uh, yung, ano, yung setup niya is maganda or yung default. May mga default kasi dito na hindi na pwede yung galawin. And kung mayroon na yung gagalawin, maybe for your ano, advanced, ano, advanced setup. Pero yung tinuturo po is yung basic lang po para makapag-set up kayo na screen recording. Okay. How to record or stop hotkey? F12 lang. F12. So, pwede naman na magpindot kayo diretso dito sa button na yan. Record or stop. Using your keyboard, F12 lang. Gusto yung mag-pause hotkey, save F12. Or you can easily click that pause ito. Okay. So, not show mouse cursor. So, may kita yung cursor kung saan yung pupunta. Ito mismo, cursor na yan. Kung saan siya pupunta. And, add mouse click effects. May effects yan. Kung right or left um, click ng mouse, meron siyang effect. So, yun lang po sa uh, checkbox na yan. So, dun sa overlay, wag na siya. Okay? Sunod settings. 
sa things naman, uh, sa sound, syempre, kailan ng sound. So, upon recording, I suggest, i-click yung record sound, syempre, and then, show yung microphone. Microphone ang gagamitin nyo, kasi magre-record din kayo. mag input kayo ng sound po ninyo. Hindi, hindi pwede yung ibang default sound or speakers, kasi, mag recording nga kayo. So, you will use microphone. And then, primary sound device, and sa secondary, microphone din ulit. Okay? So, yan po. So, that is webcam. What is webcam? So, webcam naman, ito yung, kung gusto mong makita yung presenter o yung nagsasalita, you can click add webcam and click advance. So, yan. May kita dyan. So, say for example, ito yung nagsasalita. Nakikita yung direction niya. Kung saan yung position ng camera. Okay? So, yun po. Yours truly, ako yung nagsasalita. And meron dyan, meron po dyan uh, sizes. So, ayan. Pwede siya mag-customize yan. Okay? Ayan. So, nasa sa inyo po. Yung click lang, okay. Ako. Okay lang. Kung gusto nyo ng uh, my webcam. Okay? Susunod naman is mouse. Sa mouse naman, ayan, i-click nyo yung mouse dyan. So, lahat na check box ay pinag-check ko. And, nakakustomize din ang color ng mouse. Logo. So, ang alam ko, ay importante din ang importante din ang paglagay ng logo. So, how to insert that logo, dapat kailangan is ang format ng picture is .png. And, kailangan yung insert dito sa source na ito. Ayan. So, meron kayo nakikita sa aking tutorial is Charmel Levine. So, nag-create ako ng uh, ng logo using uh, using ano po, that the engine image at initial function. Okay? And yung position niya, dito nagagalaw po. Ayan. Ayan mismo. Pwede dyan, pwede dyan, pwede dyan, pwede dyan. Okay? Sa option, wala nang gagalawin. Okay po. So, yun lang po sa record settings. I-click open natin. Sunod sa image. So, kung gusto natin na magkaroon ng hotkey for image capture, click F11 lang. Okay? And yung isa naman, hindi naman nasari na i-click yung repeat screen capture. Kaya, no need na. Yung ano na lang, show mouse cursor, add log overlay, and enable shutter sound. Okay? So, sunod is about. Whereabouts, so ito na, whereabouts diba nika ng application, ito na po yan. And, sunod na modes, sabihin ko yung sa game recording. So, pag pinag-enable nyo ang uh, game recording na yan, so pwede siyang gamitin. Okay? So, pag ginamit nyo din ang, itong, pinag-enable nyo din ang video recording, so, just click the uh, settings, and yung default settings lang niya is, yun na po yung gagamitin. Same as lang sa game recording. So, yun po ang tutorial ko with regards to this application sa Banigam. I hope this application can use or utilize in good way, in different ways para makatulong po sa lahat ng gagamit na ito. Sana po um, magamit ito for um, not only for education purpose, kundi sa mga tutorials ninyo or, or gagawin na screen recording para makatulong sa ating lipunan. Thank you so much guys. And kung may comment lang po kayo, just comment in my um, YouTube, YouTube channel or and, and also click the subscribe button. Thank you so much. Ingat po tayong lahat. God bless po.